And that was Jamie Moon with Skin. And oh, just how chilled out are we tonight on this Sunday evening? And we've had blimmin' awful weather. So, you know, it feels all like we need to have a brew, we need to get down and have a snuggle. And if I wasn't here, I'd be laying on the sofa with my dog under a blanket. So I'm hoping that that's uh, what most of you are doing out there. And uh, like I said, I have a lovely guest with me. And um, Ginny is a, I'm going to try and say this with, uh, you know, poise and grace. She's a stop motion animation workshop facilitator. How's that? How's that, Ginny? How did it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were just saying it's a little bit of a mouthful, but um, <laughs> I'm super excited to have you here, Ginny. Thank you. And um, I have been admiring the stuff that you've been doing from afar, like a <laughs> sly little internet stalker. <laughs> That's what the internet's for. <laughs> totally, apparently, it's isn't great, it? <laughs> isn't it, that you can do that and just nobody yeah. knows. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I thought that I'd get you in and, and just have a chat because. I, you know, I'm always really interested in art forms that I either can't do or would not have the, you know, the first clue how to do. So just, just, just tell me a little bit of background and kind of how you came to be a stop motion facilitator. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a bit of a, a random route as often these things are. Yeah. I've always been quite a creative person in different ways and always wanted to bring art forms into anything that I do. Um, yeah. My background's actually occupational therapy. Okay. So I trained as soon as I left school, went into uh, university to study occupational therapy yeah. and then went into a career and always uh, used, as I say, art forms wherever I could along the way. Yeah. Uh, worked in mental health the whole time. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. But then when I was working here in Lancaster, actually, uh, at the mental health unit for young people, I got uh, the opportunity to go on a two day stop motion animation course. Oh. And the whole point of it was to see how you could use animation with uh, young people, oh, not just young people, sorry, people with mental health problems. Okay. And how to use it almost therapeutically mm. and what, what potential it had for that. Um, but whilst I was there, I just absolutely fell in love with the yeah. medium. I just thought it was incredible yeah. and immediately came back and got the young people together. I was like, right, we're doing stop motion animation, yeah. <laughs> whether you like it or not, but they did like it. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody likes it. And yeah. I've rarely meet a person who doesn't. Yeah. Um, it's just so such an ace medium, so fun, so magical. Everyone's got memories of like watching stop motion yeah. um, TV programs when they were young and things like that. So it's very interesting to people. It's very mm. accessible. So that's part of the reason I fell in love with it. Mm. And then, yeah, I went on maternity leave from, had my daughter mm -hmm. uh, and, and it gives you a bit of headspace and then started thinking about how I could take it to a wider audience, yeah. uh, but stay connected to health where I could. Mm. And yeah, I just hatched a, a bit of a business plan mm. really cool. while I was off and then it grew and grew the idea and the plans yeah. and here I am now. Yeah. Brilliant. And you know, for me, like, you know, this, this segment in, in the show is, is, you know, about inspirational things that are, are going on in, in the area. And I think that, you know, inspiration does come in so many forms, doesn't it? And I think that it just is, like you said, such a medium for people to just kind of go away to a different place. And yeah. and for what I do know about it, it it's moulding plasticine and putting it in different, you know, forms. And um, that's, I, I, I can, I have thought, like even just thinking about that process is kind of taking me back to yeah. when I was a little girl and using plasticine and... yeah. You know. It's funny because there are actually a lot of people immediately associate it with plasticine and it is. And mm. I think plasticine is the most fun yeah. <laughs> part of it. But it it doesn't have to be plasticine. Oh. And I think some people are, are put off by the thought that it's just plasticine. You have to make something. You have to be good at model making and all of that. Yeah. Um, but actually there's m loads of different ways. And if, if oh. anybody comes to the, my workshops, you'll find out within the first hour, mm -hmm. you know, how, how diverse it is. Um, and I set little challenges and people have to go around trying lots of different types. Mm. So you can use whiteboards, you can use... Um, toys you know you can oh, use cool. sand you can use there's all sorts yeah and it's anything you can move a little bit and then take a photograph move a little bit take a photograph so plasticine's great yeah obviously um but yeah there's so many other things you can do yeah and and i don't want people to be put off by the idea that you have to create something because you don't really like yeah. you don't have to create something first yeah. to use you know so. yeah and and do you know what i was also just about to say 
that I would be horrible at it because I think uh, my plasticine skills are awful. Uh, but I mean, I, you know, I'd just have a go anyway. Well, just, exactly. You know, That's what you got to do. It's but to know that there's lots of, yeah. you know, different... Um, different ways to do it and yeah you know that's that's amazing i didn't know that so i'm learning as well about, uh, monty python and the cutout animations that they used to have the sketches and things like that so we do some of that magazine oh. pictures and and that's really good fun as well so. oh wow this is just <laughs> this is opening my tiny mind it really is <laughs> <laughs> cool well, we're gonna have a bit more music and we will come back and talk to the lovely jenny a little bit more but um i'm gonna play a cover now and this uh, i already love this song and i also love this cover um this is kanye west's heartless and this is the swing out session by the yeah i think that's a really good cover one of one of my favorite of uh, of that song i think so i am still joined by the lovely Ginny coppenholm we were having a good old natter whilst that song was playing <laughs> and um yes yeah, so kind of going back to what you were saying about um it, you being kind of a workshop facilitator um do you have any workshops coming up is how do people kind of get onto those workshops yeah well, there's a couple to mention um i do a lot of bookings as as organizations or education places want me or health um organizations but there are a couple coming up that people can book on uh -huh. uh, the first one is at the dukes theater in lancaster cool. and they are running a roll dial program um to celebrate his works and they're showing james and the giant peach on tuesday the 30th of august mm -hmm. and then straight after that at three o'clock is my workshop so they've asked me to come and do an animation workshop and we're going to make it on a roll dial theme cool. so i can't wait for that um i've got loads of fun ideas for yeah. that so that's aimed at families cool so that's only a fiver a person but you have to book through the dukes for that so go okay. to their website and then i'm running one of my own workshops which is for local business people mm. so that one's on the 3rd of september and that's going to be held at the civic hall in carnforth mm -hmm. um it's only the second one we've done for business uh, businesses mm -hmm. and the first one was fantastic the second one promises to be the same and it's just it's a day day workshop so you book that through myself so yeah. my website's uh, zoom-creations.com okay so if you go to that and then contact me to me through there um, all the information's on there so. cool so tell me a bit more about um stop motion for businesses that sounds <laughs> totally fab <laughs> oh it is it is it's um it, I mean, I'm part of a Lancaster and Morecambe ladies mean business network group yeah. and also a spin-off from that called growing club and um people within that just um seem to really respond to it yeah. and uh, one of the facilitators jane binion said you need to do an animation for business mm. workshop and i was like oh that sounds quite good actually yeah. and she sparked the idea so i held one and she attended the first one and loved it uh, which is great and it just spurred me on and and it's really just a chance for people to create uh maybe an advert or a different type of promotion mm. uh promotional video just it could be a few seconds long you know just to get people interested in their products or services mm. um in a bit of a different way because mm. i think people are impressed when they see a stop motion animation aren't yeah they? totally yeah. because i think like you said before not many people really know how it's done and, and th imagine it to be a lot more complicated mm. so it's i don't know how to push it really because you want it, people to think oh that's really impressive but yeah. actually if you come and try it yeah it's it's really quite straightforward to pick up but yeah. it does obviously take um discipline to actually you know make the videos and put them out yeah but hopefully you'll be inspired and and feel creative afterwards mm. uh and i love the fact that it's all adults obviously because i work a lot with children and young people but yeah. i absolutely love working with adults as well and yeah. reigniting that sort of playfulness like you said earlier mm. you know that playful creativity just yeah. experimenting and trying yeah. something that you wouldn't normally especially when you're busy with your business and yeah. you know day-to-day -day stuff takes over yeah and just a chance permission to like you know it is for work so yeah. you can come along and sort of justify it yeah. <laughs> through that which <laughs> i think is great and even you know claim back your tax for it <laughs> because it is for work yeah. it'll help you promote yourself but yeah. at the end of the day i think taking that time out to be playful creative experimental will help you not just in that but in your business and yeah. 
in life generally if that's yeah. not too bold a claim but no i mean i i totally agree and i and i think that's one of the reasons i wanted to you know to speak to you about it because because i agree and i think that any way that we can be joyful and any way that you can be creative i i believe is kind of a surefire way to you know live a better life really yeah, and I, I think it permeates into so many different areas of your life and yeah. you know i think because that's the thing, because uh, talking to you, I came from a place of n knowing absolutely nothing and kind of uh, I've seen it done before. And there's this character running around in my head who was a little plasticine brown man that was on an art show. Yeah. Is Morph. it Morph? <laughs> that's it. Um, was he stop motion? Yeah. I right. mean, he's made a comeback and he's still popular still done in the same way which is brilliant really so, yeah he's on cbb's i think at the moment oh wow <laughs> yeah i will have to check on out. youtube yeah. yeah um yeah and 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 that's the thing is that there's just so many different ways that you can you know get to that place of of kind of just having fun because everything kind of works out when you're just mm. having fun and you're you, yeah you know you're being joyful and i think sometimes with life you know you we overthink things paying the gas bill and yeah, you know getting definitely. the shopping done and picking the kids up and we forget to be joyful yeah i think so and I th one of the things i absolutely love about animation as a medium is well loads of things but one of them is that it doesn't have to be perfect so i think yeah. and well there's two things that are sort of interlinked i think people come to creative activities often with a lot of baggage mm. and a lot of um experiences from school mm particularly in the more traditional sort of art, art mediums mm. um but with animation it's new to most people yeah so they don't have the same baggage yeah. that other things hold and that's what i love about it so whether you're a child or an adult and or, you know family groups are great because everybody's starting from the same point yeah, great. so everybody's learning together yeah. everybody nobody has any um hang-ups really yeah and as soon as especially when they realize there's loads of different ways to do it yeah you know and you've got a choice yeah. then that's another reason you can just get into it yeah um but i think just yeah not having to be perfect and i think part of the charm of stop motion animation is that you actually the imperfections are part of the charm yeah so it, it, if it looks a bit handmade that's great yeah. you know and i think if there's a few little mistakes in it yeah. that's fine you know yeah. and i think there's so many things where times where we feel we have to be perfect yeah. and get things right yeah. and i think it's actually an advantage sometimes to not get it right with animation yeah, yeah. <laughs> brilliant that's great that's totally awesome so just um just remind me again so you've got a, a workshop coming up when so there's the dukes on the 30th of august uh -huh. the tuesday and it, so last week of the summer holidays i think mm -hmm. and then the, my business workshops the 3rd of september which is a saturday okay cool and um how can people get in touch with you so as i say my website's the best place so zoom-creations.com okay. or i've got a facebook page as well zoom creations animation i think it's called cool. uh, and, you, and i've got twitter etc but yeah my website's the main place cool well thank you so much for coming in it's been a joy and like i said you've opened my tiny mind oh thank you for having me <laughs> so um yeah i will definitely be coming along to one of your workshops <laughs> um so thank you Ginny. thank you for coming in thank you